How do we find 33 squared? 33 is neither close to 10 nor close to 100. In short, it's not close to any power of 10. But we know that 33 is close to 30. And 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So we have chosen 30 as the reference here because 33 is close to 30. 30 is a multiple of a power of 10. Here, we say that 10 is the base and 30 is the working base. The working base here is the third multiple of 10. Once we are done finding the base and the working base, we find the difference between the number and the working base. That will be 33 minus 30 which equals 3. Once we find the base, working base and the difference, we make a partition. On the left, we write the sum of the number and this difference. That will be 33 plus 3. And on the right, we square the difference. 3 squared. The number of digits we should write on the right of the partition is equal to the number of zeros in the base. As we have just one zero in the base, we write just one digit on the right. So the steps we have seen until now are pretty similar to the ones we saw for the multiples of 10. Find the working base, the difference between the number and the working base, make a partition, write the sum of the number and this difference on the left and then write the square of the difference on the right. There is one major difference though. The answer will not be 369. What else do we need to do here then? Yes, the difference here is that once we complete these four steps, we have to multiply the left hand side with 3. Yes, this entire thing with 3. 33 plus 3 is 36 and 36 times 3 is 108. And 3 squared is 9. 33 squared is 1089. The steps were more or less the same as the ones we had seen for squaring numbers close to the power of 10. The major difference was this part where we multiplied the left hand side with 3. Let's look at the next one. 82 squared. 82 is not close to any power of 10. It is close to 80 which is a multiple of a power of 10. We know that 10 times 8 is equal to 80. 10 is the base and 80 is the working base. Why don't you try this one on your own? Try arriving at the correct answer by referring to the solution on the left. In the next step, we find the difference between the number and the working base. That will be 82 minus 80 which is equal to 2. After this step, we make the partition. On the left, we add the number and this difference, 82 plus 2. And on the right, we square the difference, 2 squared. The number of digits on the right will be equal to the number of zeros in the base. 1 zero, 1 digit. And don't forget the most important step here. To multiply the left hand side with 8. On the left, we will have 84 times 8, that equals 672. And 2 squared is 4. 82 squared is 6724. We will look at a couple of more examples in the next part of this session. But remember the most important step here. To multiply the left side with this number. Other than that, the steps are similar to the ones we follow for squaring numbers close to a power of 10.